Hi, it's Liz Nethan. Let's have a look at model fitting for our time series data. So when we talk about the fit of the model, there's a few things we want to take into account. We want to have a look at the overall fit and we want to look at this visually to see does it look like it fits well or not. We then need to think about well, what's the trend been doing? Has it been changing? Think about the seasonality. Is it consistent? Is it not? And the variation, is that constant or is it not? And then how do all of these things together affect the fit of the model? So to look at the overall visual fit first, what we want to do is in our graph, we want to look at the black line, which is the raw data, and the prediction model, which is your historical prediction shown there in green. And you want to see if that green line follows that black line well. So is it lining up and matching over top pretty well? And the one we can see there, it's a pretty good fit. Okay, the green line is overlapping that black line most of the time. It's a couple of little areas that aren't perfect, but overall it's actually really good visually. Then we're going to have a look at this one here. And so again, look at the black data and then look at the green model. Does that green model track it? And we can see that at the beginning, the green model tracks the data well. And then we get here and it's all out of sync. They don't line up. So the model itself is not very good at all. So that's what we want to do first of all, is have that visual look. Then we want to think about the trend. And we want to ask ourselves, has the trend been consistent? Is it steadily going up? Is it steadily going down? Is it pretty stable? And if we've got a pretty consistent trend, the model is going to be easier. It's going to be easier to come up with a model and therefore the model will be fitting better. However, if our trend changes, so we have a piecewise function, so it's changing during the time period, then that's going to lead to a model that doesn't fit as well because there's a bit of a delayed reaction to the trend changing and the model reacting to it. So the other, the third factor we think about is our seasonality. And so if we have a seasonality pattern like this where each of the years it's going down at the same times, going up at the same times, that there's a lovely consistent seasonal pattern, you're going to get a good fit on your model. Whereas if your seasonality is inconsistent, so sometimes it goes up, sometimes it's going down, it's doing different things, that's going to lead to a poor fitting model. The fourth thing we want to think about is our variation. We want to think about is our variation constant? So if our variation is constant across the model, then that means our additive model is going to be a good model to use. However, if we have a increasing or fan effect going on so that the variation is increasing over time or if the variation is decreasing over time, so that would be our funnel effect. So if we have either of those, then an additive model is not going to be a good one to use. So an additive model means we take our trend, we add on the seasonality component and we add on some residual, which is our random variation. So that's our additive model. And that is good if we've got constant variation. Okay, that's the default. However, if we have our fan or funnel effect, so the variation's not constant, then we want to use the multiplicative model, which says trend times seasonality times the residual. So that's the difference is we've got to know which model is best to use when and the default is the um, additive model. So let's look at this example here. So the first thing we want to do is we want to look to see at the black and the green lines and we can see that they track really really well. Um, so that tells us visually this is a good fit. Then I want to think about the trend 
and in this case we can see that the trend line is pretty stable overall so over all of that time it's a pretty stable trend so that means my that's going to lead to a my model fitting better so that's one of the reasons why my model fits well is because it has a nice reasonably constant trend then I look at the seasonality and think is that seasonality consistent and so I look at the graph there on the left and I can see that seasonality pattern is consistent and so because we have a consistent pattern my model is going to fit better and that's what we could see visually is the model fits really really well because there's a consistent trend and a consistent seasonality pattern last thing we want to think about is the variation so if I think about that variation at different times as the time increases the variation staying pretty constant so again because it's pretty consistent that tells us that the additive model is the most appropriate one and that's the model that's been used so what I'm going to do now is pull all of those factors together the visual fit overall the trend the seasonality and the variation and I'm going to identify this all together and because we've got a consistent trend, a consistent seasonality pattern, constant variation, we're using the additive model. So that has all led to that very first graph we saw where the model fits really well. And it's because of these things that it fits well. Thanks for watching.